Hey YouTube, it's Matt with Olympus Reptiles. Today we're going to start a new little short series. These will be kind of short, sweet, to the point. Uh, they're going to be a little different. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you animals. And you're probably saying, well, that doesn't sound really different at all. I'm just cranking my table, babe. Just turning my crank. Every now and then a man's got to turn his crank. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Uh, so, well, I said babe because Kurt's not filming today. Who's filming today? Question girl! That's right. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to introduce you to our animals. So that we haven't done Come anything. on, crank turner. <laughs> okay, don't go too far. <laughs> you can't, you can't, you can make the joke, but you can't beat it like a dead horse. See, if a guy's beating it too much, that's bad. And, on that note, we just going to keep on going. So, what we're going to do, she just got it, guys, she just got that. It crank took a down, crank down. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is we're going to show you the snake. We're going to introduce it to you, if it has a name, give you a name or the number, tell you where we were at in our career when we got that snake, and what that snake meant to our career. So instead of just showing an animal and telling you the genetics, we're going to tell you a little bit of the story behind the animal. And then we're going to go to Patreon and get a little bit more, you know, campfire kumbaya, uh, and really kind of lay out maybe where we were at at that time, not just where we were at in our career, but how we were feeling, how it emotionally affected us. Give, us, give you the highs and the lows throughout this whole journey, right? Because I think that's important. Uh, so as you guys make this journey, you know, you're going to have those. So without any further ado, let's get started. Stay right there. I'm going to bring the snake to you. You're going to like it, I think. Maybe. So this guy here, his name is Erebus. Erebus. The reason I started with him, this is my first ball python. When I say my first ball python, I mean this is literally the first ball python I ever owned. Uh, what is he? He's an exantic. And right now, so we say, well, all those exantics brown out. I knew that, blah, 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 blah. So the only way to really show you is to give you another snake just for color purposes. So you can kind of, hopefully the camera picks that up. You can really see the differences. Yes, they're not going to stay as nice and silvery bright as they do when they're first born. It's just not going to happen, guys. The blacks are richer. Let me see. Whoa! Try to bite me in the face. Did you guys see that? No. Naughty, naughty snake. Uh, let's not do that anymore. Cranky girl. Let me put them on top of each other. Hopefully you can get a good comparison side by side there of the colors. So what you're going to get with an exantic is you're going to take out a lot of the yellow pigment. That's really all you're doing, stripping the yellow. So you're not going to expect it to stay super bright, it's just like any ball python. It's going to darken a little bit unless you mix some jeans in there. Great example. When you strip that yellow tint out, okay, cranky pants, you can go away. It ain't your day. It ain't your day. Come on. Go be cranky in there. So this guy here, believe it or not, has never been bred. I had gotten the carpet python, which I guess I should have started with him, but kind of focuses on ball python, so I didn't. But I will go back and use him one day um, for these purposes. And I decided after researching, because I kind of bought my carpet python on impulse, I'd had boas before, but it was a new thing. And now the internet was a big thing, because it wasn't when I first got my boa. It was there, but it was kind of, I mean, it was the 90s, y'all. Like, mid-90s. So the internet wasn't in small town America. Uh, so, you know, we just didn't have it like we do today. You weren't whipping out your cell phone on Google and shit, okay? You had to have some dedicated time in a lab and whatnot. Um, computer lab which doesn't even exist anymore. So anyway, now the internet was the thing. I researched. I saw all the really cool ball python morphs that had come out since last time I'd done any research. And I fell in love with the zebra bees and the killer zebra bees and exantics in general. The killer zebra bees were about 10 grand at the time. That wasn't going to happen. So I just wanted to get an exantic. I didn't really care what line. There wasn't an SK VPI thing. I happened to find SK near me. This was a snake that was produced by JD Constriction, although I didn't buy it from him, did I? No. Uh, it was owned by a gentleman who uh, was changing plans, didn't really have a ton of direction on what he was doing, so he would kind of changed ideas, and I wanted to buy this snake from him. The pictures he sent me, because Exantic is so hard to send a picture of, because what happens even here is the camera tends to add yellow. You got to get it really in a good natural light and really look through the back to really see it on a camera to get that, that true silver look. Did not look very good. And he said, trust me, trust me, trust me, in person it's great. I thought, oh, what the hell, I'm going to go look. So I wasn't going to buy a shitty one. I went and saw him and fell in love with him. So uh, he was younger then. His color was actually better then because, I mean, he was a young adult. He was 
I mean, probably only two at the time or so. So he's getting kind of some age on him. I mean, I've probably had this snake since circa, I don't know, I've had him probably 10 years or close to it at this point. So he's in double digit in age, but he's by far not very old. Originally, my plan was to breed him because when I started getting ball pythons. It was instantaneously my plan was to breed. It was going to be a few years off. This snake, though, I've never bred. I just, I shouldn't keep him. Like, I'll be honest, guys, I shouldn't have this snake. This snake is, I don't want to say beneath me because that's not the right way to, to phrase it. But this snake genetically is behind in my breeding plants. It's probably a better way of phrasing, it, of phrasing that. But the simple fact was, this is a snake that I fell in love with, man. And, uh, well, why would I get rid of the snake I fell in love with, right? Couldn't do that. I mean, he's such a sweetheart some days. Not always. You're not always a sweetheart, but you are today. So even though he never gets bred, I convince myself every year that he's going to be one of my backup exantic males. <laughs> and I say, I might, I might have to use him if one of my males doesn't do so well. Uh, I don't really see that happening, but he's going to stay until I absolutely cannot justify it anymore. And even then, he'll probably stay. He's just cool. Uh, it's my boy, Erebus. So, question girl, any questions about this snake? How old was Erebus before you got him? I mean, I don't exactly know. I mean, it's not like he came with an age and I wasn't uh, smart enough to really ask at the time, if I'm being blunt. But I would guess he was probably maybe two, maybe. Uh, I'm sure I was told, but I wasn't writing anything down or keeping records back then, so I, I truthfully don't remember. If I had to bet, the snake is somewhere between, I mean, to be safe, I'd say between 10 and 14 years old, you know, but good and healthy. He's perfect size, body condition's great for a male. This is exactly what you'd want to see if he was just a pet hanging out. I mean, this is what this should look like. Anything else? Um, no, because you've kind of answered those questions yeah. already. You're a good boy, aren't you? You do are. All right, well, that's it. And then, guys, we're going to switch over to Patreon, and we're going to get a little kumbaya, emotional. There'll be tears, but maybe I'll get you to sign up. All right, we'll catch you all next time. That'll be after he cranks. <laughs>